Hey everyone, welcome to Vegas Showbiz. Today I'm excited to take you on a family tour of Sequest Las Vegas. This is my family's second time visiting Sequest, but our first visit was about three or four years ago. The kids were fairly young then, and the two youngest ones don't remember it all that well, so we were excited to go back and check this out, go ahead and document this for you. We got some cool footage to share from the experience. We got some pro tips to share with you. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Uh, first and foremost, Sequest is a very family-friendly activity in Las Vegas. It's located about half a mile east of the Strip on Maryland Parkway. If you're staying in a hotel on the Strip or downtown, it's going to be a very easy Uber ride to get over there. Um, it is located in a shopping mall. It's kind of a strange location, to be honest with you. When we first pulled up that, that first visit, I was like, this can't be right. But it is right. It gives it a little bit of character, but you've literally got an aquarium inside of a shopping mall. Uh, whatever, it's Vegas, right? It's all good. Uh, so you arrive at Sequest and you have the option of either paying for admission for the one visit, or you can look at some different membership options. Um, so this kind of leads me into my pro tips. I really don't recommend purchasing a one-time admission for Sequest unless you're just, you know, maybe you're a tourist and you're here for a couple days and that's it. That makes sense. But if you're going to be here for longer, you have a couple different options to you. Um, first of all, if you really like Sequest, that's like your thing and you want to go back there multiple times throughout the year, um, it makes a lot more financial sense to just buy a pass from Sequest. A single admission is going to run you anywhere from $14 to $20 per person, depending on their age, student status, and military status. If you're looking at an annual pass to Sequest, it's only $50 per year. Uh, for a person. So as soon as you get above two visits per year, it, it, you know, it makes it worth it to be purchasing that pass. The other option related to a pass, and this is actually what my family has been doing now, uh, we received a Christmas present from my mom, which was the POGO pass, P-O-G-O, -O, POGO. And it basically gives us access to a wide variety of different activities throughout Las Vegas, Sequest being one of those activities. Now our oldest daughter, Ava, she remembered the first visit to Sequest. And as soon as she found out that Sequest was part of the Pogo Pass, it was like, oh, that's gotta be the first place that we go to. And consequently it was. Uh, Pogo Pass is normally $50 per person per year, just like the Sequest membership. However, uh, we were able to get it on Groupon for $40 per person. Uh, now that was during the holiday time, but then we checked it again today and it's now March and it was still available on Groupon at $40 a person. So if you're gonna be around the Las Vegas area with a family, uh, that Pogo Pass is awesome and I highly recommend shopping for it on Groupon. So that's one thing. Um, when you go into Sequest, there are a variety of different rooms. Each room is indicative or, or labeled a, after a different part of the world and the animals within that room are indicative of that region. Uh, there are different stations to go ahead and feed the animals or interact with the animals, but doing so requires tokens. And this gets to my next pro tip. So when you're coming into Sequest, you're deciding between paying for the individual visit or some form of a pass that we went over, but you're also going to have to think about buying some tokens. Uh, we ended up getting 15 tokens for the three kids to split. We figured five per kid would be okay. The cost of those 15 tokens was $25. So something to budget in and, and, you know, I think you get a bit a better deal as you go up in tokens, of course, but we felt like that would be enough. We also got two more tokens for free because my wife and I both checked in on Facebook at Sequest. So altogether, we had 17 tokens. Now, as far as what you do with those tokens, I mentioned you can interact with animals, you can feed animals. Uh, a little bit of a pro tip here. You seem to get more bang for your buck on the tokens when you use them for an animal interaction than when purchasing food uh, to feed them. Our experience with the little uh, machines where you purchase food, it's like a little candy machine where you turn the dial. Uh, the kids were arguing because so-and-so got more food than I did. You know, I only got a little bit of food. Uh, it wasn't real accurate on what everybody was getting. And you know, you throw it out there and that's it. The token's gone. Whereas, the parakeet room, for example, that you're going to see on the footage here shortly, each of us paid one token to go in and we were in that room for gosh, six or seven minutes, you know, interacting with these birds. It was a way better value 
Um, there were some other animal interactions as well that are available to you. So I really think you're better off spending your tokens there. You're going to see plenty of people that are feeding the, the stingrays and all that stuff and the, the different fish. So I would lean towards the interactions if possible. Um, as far as the, the, the different sea life that, that are living there, the stingrays are probably one of the more popular attractions. Uh, they're in the Caribbean pool and they come right up to the glass. You're going to see it on the footage, but I mean, they are right there in your face. They let you pet them. They've got this weird kind of slimy texture. It feels kind of cool, but they're very friendly. There's sharks in there as well, and they don't seem to be a problem. Uh, the main reason I say that is because there were literally small human children swimming in that pool. Um, it's one of the attractions that you can pay for where you're with a guide, you put on um, a wetsuit and they take you out there. There were some parents, there were some little kids that were younger than my kids. I mean, it looked really cool. Honestly, I was like kind of jealous, but well, maybe in the future we might have to go back and do that. But something to think about if you really want to have that up close in the water experience with some, some sea life, this is definitely worth checking out. Um, in addition to sea life, I mentioned the parakeets. We also got lucky because this was not there three years ago, but there were these little Bengal cats that were amazing. They weren't 100% Bengal, they were a, a breed of Bengal and house cat. I forgot the other type. Uh, the, the young lady working there was really friendly and was telling us about how they're actually sterile. They can only be essentially laboratory grown, but these cats are awesome. And I'm in there filming. I'm, unfortunately, I kind of stole my daughter's thunder. My daughter Elise is uh, all about cats and tigers and was so excited and I just go in there to film her but the cat saw my microphone and it's got this little furry cover as a windscreen and it just would not leave me alone like it was just batting at it and trying to take out he got his claws stuck in my microphone uh, the footage for it turned out pretty cool so you're going to see that here in a minute um, so really just a lot of different types of interactions they've also got reptiles to check out we were petting iguanas that was super cool there's a shark room we met the coolest old pirate in the shark room. I mean, this guy was wearing all the gear and he was telling us like real history about pirates. He pulled out a, a sundial with a compass that pirates used to use as a watch. It was really fun. Um, there was also a mermaid making her uh, rounds, doing little glitter tattoos where you pay like a token and she uh, lets you pick out your stencil and does the glitter tattoo on you. So, you know, a lot of fun stuff like that. The kids really got a kick out of it. Um, one more pro tip, didn't know about this last time we were there, but there's actually an outdoor playground. Uh, so if you're heading back towards the parakeet room, there's a set of double doors just beyond that that opens up into an outdoor location. Uh, you know, if you need to burn off some steam, get a little fresh air or whatever, most people don't even know it's there, so it's pretty empty out there. So that's worth checking out. Um, overall, you're going to get all the kids' uh, impressions of the place. We, we did a little recap afterwards here at the house. Um, really a fun way to spend an afternoon, reasonably priced, close to the strip, uh, different types of interactions. I, I definitely recommend checking it out. I mean, you don't have to go there with children, obviously, but if you are looking for the family friendly side of Las Vegas, and that's something that we are really trying to expose with this channel. So many people focus on, you know, the nightlife and the gambling and all that, and that stuff's got its place, but there is such a family friendly side of Las Vegas that I think kind of flies under the radar a little bit and we're doing our best to expose those places. Let us know in the comments, what do you think? Did you enjoy our depiction of it? Do you think we missed anything? Uh, you know, we, we, we want to make this in as interactive as possible, so I'm curious to see what other people think of it. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy our content and you want to support us, please subscribe to our channel. We're going to keep on cranking out videos. If you can like this video, I would appreciate that as well. But we're really enjoying creating these for you and I can't wait to bring the next one. But for now, Enjoy the footage of Sequest. You'll hear from the kids afterwards. Also, my wife Jessica is writing a blog article on VegasShow.biz all about our, our experience here at Sequest. So I'm going to go ahead and link that in the description for this video. Okay, that's it. Let's get to the footage. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right, bye. Welcome to Vegas Showbiz. Please enjoy this family visit to Sequest Las Vegas.
It says, please feed with hands above water. I saw this big fish right here just jump out to get some food and it scared him to death. I forgot, I need to film like myself swimming like that. Yeah, that thing is, it'll jump for, for the food. Do you want to film in landscape? Yeah, like that. Oh, so I can see how long this thing is. Yeah, but you should turn the light off. You don't need that light on. Okay, I'll come over there. Hang on one second. You're so cute. Hey, we just found a big octopus in here. Come check this out. Check it out.
to jump in and get it. <laughs> that would be good for the video. <laughs> Go get it, Enzo. You're a good swimmer. bioengineered and and the, the breed was Bengal mixed with what Wow he already got it Awesome. And the other one's like, I got no time for you. That's pop. So that's that's snap up there. And this is pop down here. Crackle keeps trying to get my microphone. Where'd Crackle go? That was quick. Well, 
at least maybe we gotta give him a break. Okay, no problem, thank you. Take it. Thank you. 
Okay, we got a little pro tip for you if you're coming to Sequest with your family. We're right next to the parakeets, and they've got an outdoor playground out here. We didn't even know last time we were here. Let's go check it out. All right, guys. Put your hand in there, Enzo. No, it feels funny. Doesn't Put it? your hand in there, Enzo. <laughs> Put it in. Oh. Get in there, Enzo. It feels fine. It actually kind of feels nice. Get your hand in there. <laughs> Do it, Enzo. You're helping your hand. Do it. Do it. I'll do it. Yeah, just Come on, Enzo. I'm filming. Do it for the camera. Do it for Vegas Showbiz, Enzo. <laughs> Down all the way, Enzo. Touch the touch the blue. Ah! Touch the blue part. I don't feel them. They're not getting my hole. Hey, at least one. Hey, at least you should do it. No, I don't want to do it. It feels good.
Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, we just got home from Sequest and we're here to talk a little bit about our experience there. Um, I'm gonna start off with the kids and then we'll get to the adult perspectives later. So um, I'll start off here with Elise. What did you think about Sequest today? I really liked it. There was no words for how much fun I had. It was so exciting and we got to feel different kinds of animals and feed birds, play in playgrounds. It was so fun. I don't even know how to describe how to describe how much fun we had. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. How about you, Ava? What did you think? Well, I know we've been there before, and I thought it looked different in my head, but I know some of the things that I was thinking about actually did happen. The stingrays were one of the best parts. They're so slimy, and there's sharks, which they don't really want to be pet. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Great experience. Um, lots, like, I think it's a good place for kids. There's birthdays. There's a lot of cool and unexpected fun things there. Um, so I would definitely check it out. All right. Thanks, Ava. How about you, Enzo? What did you think? I thought it was fun. I thought there was a lot of cool stuff there. I thought there was a ton of lizards and stuff like that. Although the only part I didn't like was these fish. Remember those fish near like that cat? the cat room we went to mm. yeah they they bite off they bite the dead skin off your fingers yep. that, that i didn't like that so that's the part that i didn't like you so that so all the other parts i did like like probably my favorite part was definitely one of the things where you're in a room with birds and then what happens is you have birds food in your hands and then they call, there's like a million of them just jumping off this like big tree and then they just peck on your hands the the most amount that i had on my hands at, at once was five all five right so. thank you enzo all right well i'm glad that you guys had fun today at sequest we had a great time you're free to go play go ahead <laughs> Thank you for watching this Vegas Showbiz production. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.